What is a callback URL, and how does it work? Hey there! Welcome to this video where we'll be exploring the concept of callback URLs and understanding how they work. Callback URLs are an integral part of modern web development and play a crucial role in enabling communication between different systems or applications. So, let's dive in and demystify callback URLs. What is a callback URL? To understand what a callback URL is, we first need to grasp the concept of callbacks. In programming, a callback refers to a piece of code that is passed as an argument to another function. This allows the called function to execute the callback at a specific point during its execution. Now, a callback URL is simply a URL that is provided to an application or service as a means of specifying where it should send its callback requests. It serves as the destination for the callback mechanism to deliver data or trigger further actions. How does a callback URL work? When an application or service wants to initiate a callback, it will typically make an HTTP request to the specified callback URL. This request contains relevant data or information that the receiving end needs to process. The callback URL acts as an endpoint or target location for the response. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of how a callback URL works. 1. Registration. The application or service requiring callbacks will often ask the user to register a callback URL. This can be done through configuration settings or API endpoints. 2. Trigger. Once registered, the application or service will perform an action or event that necessitates a callback. This could be the completion of a task, an update in status, or any other significant occurrence. 3. HTTP request. To initiate the callback, the application or service sends an HTTP request to the registered callback URL. This request usually contains relevant data or parameters needed by the receiving end to process the callback. 4. Response handling. The server hosting the callback URL receives the HTTP request and processes it accordingly. It can perform actions based on the data received or trigger additional processes. 5. Acknowledgement. In some cases, the server may send a response back to the application or service that initiated the callback, confirming the successful delivery and processing of the callback request. Benefits and use cases of callback URLs. Callback URLs offer several benefits and find extensive use in various scenarios. Here are a few notable use cases. Webhooks. Callback URLs are commonly used in webhooks, which allow applications to receive real-time notifications or updates when certain events occur. For example, an e-commerce platform might use a callback URL to receive notifications about new orders or customer updates. Authentication. Callback URLs are often utilized in authentication workflows. After a user successfully logs in or grants permissions, the authentication server can redirect the user back to the application using a callback URL, along with an authorization code or token. Asynchronous processing. Callback URLs enable asynchronous processing, where a task is initiated, and the callback URL is notified upon completion. This allows the application to continue functioning without waiting for the task to finish, improving efficiency and responsiveness. Congratulations! You now have a solid understanding of callback URLs and how they work. Callback URLs act as destinations for callback requests, facilitating communication between applications and systems. By utilizing callback URLs, developers can create dynamic and interactive web experiences, enabling real-time updates and improving the overall functionality of their applications. I hope this video has been helpful in clarifying the concept of callback URLs. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.